So the reason for this video today is actually we bought uh, a 1965 coupe, which we are going to pick up tomorrow. Today's the 29th. We're going on the 30th of April. And this weather was not supposed to happen. It was supposed to be a little rainy today. Turns out it's snowy instead. So it should make for a decent road trip. So let's stay tuned and here we go. All right, it is just past six o'clock. We are headed on our way to Sault Ste. Marie, which is about six hours from here. So I got my trusty junkyard dig shirt on. And we're about to start this journey. Just waiting for dad to show up, had our coffee, morning breakfast, and now we're hopping in the Buick and about to start this road trip. Here we go! Six hours, it's gonna be a long day. 12 hours total, probably an hour to look at the car, tune it, adjust the timing, because he said he played with it, so it's not running right. So adjust the timing, tune the new carb, maybe check some things, check the tire, or check the, the lug nuts, and uh, get going. It's a little Canadian adventure without a little Tim Hortons. Just stopped off in a little town, not exactly sure, just north of Sudbury. Grab some Timmy's, get back on the road. Another pit stop. We are currently about an hour away. Just had to make a quick bathroom run, just waiting on dad. And where are we? Tim Hortons, of course. It's like the only Canadian restaurant, basically. Double, double, please. All right, let's get her going. The good old Buick. This car is immaculate. Just working on it, trying to get it started. Three-speed manual, six-cylinder, just super. 65, very nice. Open, you're, you're starving it, and yeah. it's got too much fuel, and you're gonna bugger up the plugs and everything else. And that's probably what I did. That could be. I need to put my hat, my hat and my jacket on because it's cold and. 
so that's draining in there. Here we go. Shaking a little bit. <laughs> well, sounds like it's missing. It's pretty aggressive. Sounds like it's missing almost, eh? It's almost like the firing order's wrong. So we just set the points, clean the plugs, timing, and she turned over and fired up, but gotta do a little more adjustment to it and should be on our way. No, I'm off now. Just setting the idle. Go a little more! At least there. It seems much better. We're soon going to be on a six hour journey. <laughs> oh, God. From a car that wasn't running when we bought it to now. A running six cylinder with a three speed trans. Still, something's going on. Still got a little stumble. But at least it runs. So we'll figure it out once we get home. Again, we still have that six hour or five, five, six hour journey, I think it is. Uh, it's probably going to be a little slower with the car, especially with the three speed, but. Yeah, it's already 2.45 right now, so that brings us to 8 o'clock, or 9 o'clock pretty much. So, I'd like to get out of here as soon as possible. Alright, so we've got the car running. Just getting some license plates here. But got the car running, changed the oil, set the timing, and uh, did a few other things, points. So now I'm just going to put some plates on and then uh, start the journey. <laughs> oh, Mark, break off my chin. I don't know. No, it would have been pulled. That that one? Yeah. Watch the bucket. Keep it alive. You're good, you're good. That's working good. What's that? Still use the tune. Right. Could still use a little bit. Still a little off.
right, here we go. This first leg of the road trip. Dad's driving the Mustang. Let's take a peek. I don't know. All right, first fill up. $75 later. Ready to hit the road, hit some highways. So it's about 3.30 right about now. I've uh, been on the road for about 10 minutes. And I'm just enjoying this picturesque view of cruising behind a Mustang and driving through these country roads with Dad. But all good. Looks like the Mustang's cruising nice. We're doing about 90 kilometers per hour right about now. And all seems well. We'll see how long uh, it's going to take us to get home. Like I said, it's 3.30, so I'm guessing about... 11 o'clock we'll be home. Just stopped off at Wendy's. How's it running? All good. Better now. Better now. <laughs> That's it. Back into my uh, my beater. Dad gets to drive the Stanger. Lucky dog. All right, so it's 7.30 and Mustang is doing really well. We're about an hour and a half away from home and we're just cruising along at 100 kilometers an hour, which for you American folks is about 65, 62. So yeah, so we should be home in about an hour and a half-ish, maybe a little longer. And the weather is actually really great. Uh, no complaints there, a little chilly, but Hey, it's better than snow, like last night. So, back to driving. Long day. Got up at six o'clock this morning. It is now 7.30, like I said. And like I said, we still have an hour and a half. So, time to pop a Red Bull, get her going. I was just sitting here jamming out some Rush, and I just wanted to ask you guys a question. What's your favorite band, number one? So it's a couple questions, actually. And what's your favorite car? Leave a comment below. I'd like to know. Mine's Rush. My favorite car is a 1969 Mustang. Concourse, people say. Sports roof. I know, that's the correct terminology. So yeah, leave a comment below. What's your favorite band and your favorite car? It doesn't matter if it's not a Ford product. I want to hear it. So leave a comment below. 65 is doing pretty good. We have about 45 minutes left of our little road trip. And we will be back home. Got a little lifter. What did you say? Lifter clatter? What? Lifters? Yeah. A little lifter clatter, but we saw a dirty oil one, right? yeah, it was pretty. It was like water before before we changed it. So 
All it needs to do is just get us home and then we'll worry about that another day. No oil leaks, which is great. It's a sharp little car. Five minutes away probably and just about ready to boogie on the highway a little currently got to get in front of this transport truck it's trying to cut me off but the coops doing good burning a little oil got a little lifter clatter but uh, she's doing her job getting her getting us home six hour trip Right, that about wraps it up for the 1965 Mustang Coupe. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you like what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Also, make sure to check out Dylan McCool, Junkyard Digs, and Thunderhead 289 for more awesome content. Also, you're going to want to stay tuned for more future episodes from me because the 1965 Mustang Fastback is up on the block. So stay tuned. That's all for this week. Mike from Classic Mustangs 429 signing out.